Oh, back like I never left. What's up, Buzz? Now today we're going to be talking about some of the announcements that at CES for JBL. Now JBL is probably the king when it comes to portable speakers right now. And we've been waiting for some of their newest stuff. So let's talk about some of the releases that are that is coming out and one noticeable one that was not announced. So uh, we're just going to run through this real quick so I can get it posted for you guys. I got the tablet with all the specs and info and stuff. Now, a lot of these specs is basically the same of what we're seeing from all products nowadays. Um, I'll let you guys know some of the things that I do see that is a difference. Um, so the first thing we're gonna start off with the with the JBL Extreme 4. Now the JBL Extreme 4 is gonna be coming out, it's gonna be releasing for $380. So this is the same price range as the JBL um, Extreme 3, which is really good. We got no price increase. Now, if you guys know me, you guys been on my channel, I don't like the extreme at $380 after taxes, 400 bucks. That's just me. I just think if you're going to pay that much, you might as well get a party box or a party speaker. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but they're still going to be having that 380. So we're not having a price increase, which is good. Um, it's IP 67 waterproof means it's dusting and waterproof. Um, I'm, as in you can pit it in the water and bring it out. It's still going to be playing. Uh, made of recyclable uh, plastics. Now they got a new feature in here called the AI Sound Boost. Don't know what that is, don't know what it does. We'll figure out what it does when they start pinning out videos and all that and information about that and when I get my hands on it, whenever that is. Um, Bluetooth is gonna be a 5.3. Uh, power bank, now there's one thing in here. It says replaceable batteries for enhanced serviceability. Now, I know their party box and their new party box have replaceable batteries that are swappable. Uh, I don't know if the extreme is going to be having that or is it just something that, you know, it says, you know, for enhanced serviceability. So I don't know what that means. We'll see when that comes out as well. And then it works with apps and it's going to be coming out in three different colors with the um, extreme four. So that's really good. We're going to be looking at that. So you can get um, three different colors. Um, so basically two, because we know black is going to be that just the main one. And but when it comes to the battery life, um, you're going to be looking at 24 hours of playtime. It says six hours longer while listening um, in um, the boost mode. So you're going to be getting a little bit more battery life in there in boost mode as well. So that's the JBL Extreme 4. You're looking at 380 for that. And the release date of that is um, June. So it's going to be released in June. So you're looking at January, February, March, April, May, June, six months. Or you can say five months, you know, whenever you're watching this is if, in, if it's in the middle of the month. But now we got the JBL Clip 5. Now the JBL Clip 5, there's nothing really going on with this. Um, the JBL Clip 5 is going to be 80 bucks, No price difference. Uh, I think all the main, you know, portable line right there, there was no price difference. Also, it's going to be a June release for this one as well. It's going to be 12 hours of battery life three hours longer um, in boost mode. So you're gonna be looking at three more hours in boost mode. Same thing, like I said, um, it's gonna have the AuraCast to connect with other speakers. And then it works with the app and this will come in six different colors. So if you guys are looking to get a clip, um, one, of the pop one of the popular lines from JBL is the clip series. So that um, clip five is gonna be 80 bucks for you guys. Now we got the JBL Go 4, which is the small square one, another popular one. Um, they're going to be looking at 50 bucks for this again no price increase on that and that will also be coming out in june as well um, when it comes to the battery life for that one you're gonna be looking at seven hours of battery life and um two hours longer when listening to boost mode um, ip67 dust and waterproof as well um multi-speaker connect with AuraCast, and then jb it works with the jbo app and this will also be in six colors as well. So you can be looking at six colors for the JBL um, Go 4. So those are the main lines that you're going to be looking at with these um, speakers. Now, one noticeable thing here missing, I was online searching. The JBL Charge 6 is nowhere to be found. So they did not announce the charge, even though these are the, spe these are the speakers that go along with this charge. The charge did not get announced so we don't know where we're going to get that if these are coming in june unless they do a surprise announcement and release it earlier we could be looking at the charge getting like eight months away um which will really suck because i think that's their m most popular speaker and also there's no flip either i just thought about that there's no flip as well so the flip and charge could get announced together um hopefully they come out sooner 
um, you know, I thought they would get announced with these because when you think of the flip and the charge, you think of the extreme and the clip, you know, you think of all of them at once. So hopefully, you know, we will get those other two, the flip and the charge and their most popular portable speakers um, together and sooner because six months already for these in June um, is a pretty a long wait already. So hopefully we get an earlier announcement and it comes out sooner. Now, I do want to say I have to look at the dates one more time that the JBL um, charges in um, the the flips do have uh, multiple May releases and an April release. And then the latest I've seen uh, January, May, May, April. And the latest I've seen was August, I believe. So August being the latest one. So hopefully we can get those other those other two in May or April in that range. Hopefully the charge and the flip will come out a little bit earlier than these ones that we just talked about. All right, so now the, um, they did announce two party boxes that I got right here. So we're just gonna run through these and the most important feature of these, I'll, I'll just um, name both of them right now. Um, the JBL Party Box Club 120. Now, let me scroll up for you guys. Now, this is going to be going for uh, 400 bucks. You're going to be looking at $400 with these. They also have IPX4. It's going to have the Aura Cast to speak to the other speakers and everything else that you expect from um, um, a party box. You know, the different outlets, like the mic outlets and one guitar. You got two mic outlets, one guitar outlet. Um, of course, it rolls and all that. It has the new AI sound boost. But the main feature of this is the 12 hours of playback, but they have replaceable batteries. And it says it's fast charge, 10 minutes, 10 minute charge for 80 minutes of play time. So the main thing is you are getting those replaceable batteries. Now we already know about this with Soundbox. Now Soundbox has replaceable batteries, but that is a more heftier price tag. You know, Soundbox goes for like 800 to a thousand dollars with theirs. And then their replaceable batteries are like, 150 i think i could be wrong it might be a little bit more but i'm 150 at the lowest of what i'm trying to think now you're going to be able to get this party box for 400 now if you can get replaceable batteries with 12 hours of playback time that's really good that's really good so especially if you're you know somewhere someone that always takes the music to the party and it's an all-day party and goes all the way into night you're going to be covered with this um, on full blast with a, a, like a party speaker, you know, 12 hours of playback time gets like cut in half. That can pitch you at like six hours. It can pitch you at five hours. But if you have two of those batteries, you know, they're both, you know, charged, ready to go. Or if you want to get more, that's on you. But if you got two, you can, you know, guarantee yourself almost, you know, nine to 12 hours, you know, with two batteries on full blast speaker. Now, if you're playing at medium volume, you know, 12 hours of playback at medium volume, you're gonna be good with two batteries for the rest of the day. So I do like that they have the exchangeable batteries finally. You know, that's really big for those big speakers because those things pump out power and they suck up juice out of that those batteries. And, and you're taking it away from an outlet, you know, unless you got one of those, you know, you know, portable big old party banks, you know, you're pretty screwed. So um, let's see here. Their other one is the JBL Party Box Stage 320. Basically, everything you know that we expect is gonna be a bigger woofer and you know some more tweeters and all that. But it's basically what we expect from you know another party box speaker, just a bigger you know bigger size and all that. With the battery life, we're gonna be looking at 18 hours of playtime, and it's replaceable as well. With this one, with this one, you can fast charge for 10 minutes and get two hours of playback back into your battery for that. So this is gonna be a $600 speaker. This is gonna be one of the heftier price tag speakers out there. But um, even these ones, they sell really good for a lot of the JBL fans that are looking to get a party speaker. So um, this one is another replaceable battery, which is good as well. So replaceable batteries, thumbs up. I can't wait to see how these work and hopefully I can get my hands on these things. All right, so um, both those party box speakers, they both release in April. Um, no official like a date date on it yet, but the smaller ones are June. The party box ones, the big ones are in April. Um, hopefully we can get the charge and the flip around the April time or May. I don't want to wait till June to get those ones, and I don't want to wait even longer than that. So hopefully we can get the JBL charge and the JBL flip 
um, on an earlier release. But there you have it, Buds. I want to give you guys a rundown from JBL CES of announcing. They announced a whole bunch of stuff, but this is the core group. This is like their most popular things. This is the stuff when you walk in the store and see JBL products, these are the ones that you see. You know, you see the extreme, the clip, the go, and all that stuff. So I wanted to do a little video about those. And we didn't get no announcement on the um, JBL um, charge and the flip. But hopefully those get announced at a different time. But hopefully they release earlier. You know, hopefully they release in the April time um, with the, you know, big speakers. And not in the June time with the, you know, with the extreme and all that stuff. So, but there you guys have it. But I uh, hope you guys like this video. I see you guys in my next one. And hopefully when I get some JBL, you know, clip and flip or JBL charge and flip news, I'll run that to you guys. But hope you guys had a great holiday season. I hope you guys are ready for this 2024. Let's get it popping, baby. I see you guys in my next video. Everyone be safe out there. My name is Rodney. This was Wanna Buy It. Go Gators. Peace.